726. And we're headed to the doctor's office, but I have to take my medicine because my appointment is after my medicine shots. So this is my little travel kit. I got it off of Amazon. It has a little spot here for um, your band-aids and alcohol wipes. I have wipes, gauze, and the band-aids there that I barely ever use. Then it has little compartments here that you can stick your injections in. And you have a little compartment here. I have these as my Gunner Relics. I have not yet to begin to use these, but they're there. And then this spot right here, I'll hold my Minipure needles. This is my Minipure vials, along with the injection, the, um, injection needles. Of course, if you've already looked at my other videos, you know I don't use this needle whatsoever that comes with this one. I don't like it. On this side is the refrigeration part. These are little components that stay cold or cool when you freeze them. So, um, yeah, they'll keep the gondolef cold. And so I keep the gondolef in that part and I put these here. These are the Q caps for that. So, I got that. All of that I got from Amazon. As well as this portable sharps container. Which is very beneficial. I have used them um, frequently. So that's what we're gonna do. Take your alcohol swab and open it. Pop the tap on your Q cap on your um, sharps container because I make sure I put all of this medicine stuff that I open up in here, I use these at work. So I pop the top. I am cleaning off these right here. And that's the powder form and the solution for that. I am going to reach and now get my Q cap. The way that they taught me in the med class to draw out the medication. I should be able to use this blue needle to do that, but I can't, so I don't use it. This this is a Q-cap that comes with the Minipure, and I'm just gonna pop that onto the liquid solution part. Literally squeeze this needle off because we're not gonna use it. Pop it into the sharp container. I'm going to squeeze this on here. hold it upside down I click this a dump that a little bit I need one mil of it so I pull back some just a little bit get the air bubble out and then I continue to pull it down and I tend to pull it down a little bit past the one just because of the drawback take the the liquid form off pop the powder on turn it back up right boom it dissolves switch that around and then I just sit this right here to the side for the moment I take the q-cap off and I'm gonna set that to the side because now we're gonna go over to the gone left the way that the clinic teaches us is that um, we're gonna combine those so I'm gonna take this needle this needle right here is the needle for the gone left pop that on twist it on there boom it's ready dial this up to 150 take the needle off and i'm going to inject that in there i make sure i put the window where it shows me the number in here so I can make sure I'm squeezing it down till it goes to zero. It is now down to zero. Pop the safety cap back on. And then I stick this needle back on, this cap back on there and I twist it so that it comes off.
and so I step back in there and I'm done with the gonna the gonna left so this is a reusable injection so I'm going to stick this back in here and I'm done with that next step is now I'm going to stick the Q-cap on here because now it has both injections in there swirl that around not shake but just swirl and I'm literally going to draw everything out of here and you see I do push back some just to make sure I'm getting all my fluid out take that off take this off and sit this here I am going to now do the injection this is the needle that I'm going to inject with so I take that out of its packaging and squeeze it on there get my second one and I think I, in the mornings I do the left and then at night I do the right so I'm going to swab the left side take my needle top off inject push I go slow because this stuff burns like I don't know what I sit for about 10 seconds after it's done just to make sure I've gotten all of it out of the needle take it out And then this whole needle here will go in here. I have multiple, more than one, so, and I can't get this in here. So for safety reasons, I'm just gonna use the other one that I have. Pop that in there and boom, that's how you do your shots when you're in the car and you're on the go. And you have to do your, you have to do it. I tend to rub it a little bit because I have stretch marks there, so it tends to hurt when I get near the stretch marks. But that's how you do a shot on the go. I'm tired because we woke up at five to be to this appointment and I'm still sleepy. So I don't really get a lot of sleep. This medicine kind of gives you insomnia and stomach issues. So, we'll be back when we find out what the rest of this appointment is going to entail today. I don't know if my husband was being funny because they're yeah. watermelons uh -huh. and they're seeds. So. Oh, that's, that's cute. I don't know. I just like socks. So. Yeah, I do too. They don't have to match my clothes. They just have to match each other. Right. I still have some Christmas socks on today. I was like, no, it's not too late to put on some Christmas socks. You can kind of celebrate Christmas. New Year's, New Year's, right? I've been celebrating Christmas since November 1st. So nice. <laughs> I go straight from Halloween to Christmas. Uh -huh. You know, usually I'm one of those, no, no, nothing Christmas before uh, the day after Thanksgiving, but I feel like this year, 2020. Just I, yeah, I right? needed my, normally I put it up closer to Thanksgiving, but uh -huh. I needed the tree up. I've been in the house all year. Exactly. Joy. The kids were kind of stir crazy, uh -huh. so. Uh -huh. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Remind me, you have. Are you the person that I saw the other day that only has one over, or you have both? No, I have both. The yeah, left one is the happy one that has like five or six. Yeah. And the right has three. Okay. You counted five, but you said you probably saw six on the left. Uh -huh. it was one of those. Let's stay. Yep. Cautiously optimistic. Let's 
Lefty. There's Bridie. And did you take any medicine this morning? Yes. Yeah. One of them up here on 150 gone left? Yes. Okay, cool. I try to do it between 8 and 8.30 because yeah. it's usually when the kids are up and about and I'm waking up. It's a good time to do it. That's about breakfast. I can dip off into the closet and... Mm -hmm. Do what I gotta do and then come back in. Yeah. Not make a big show of it. Where yeah, because apparently everybody's afraid of needles in my house. Oh no, really? My niece gave me the first injection. It was a debacle because she was. <laughs> she, I'm not scared of needles at all. I can watch you do it over and over and it won't bother me, but she freaked out, she which then that. freaked me out. So of then course. I was like, no, I'm good. I'll just figure this out myself. Yeah, because you're like, all right, this is a lot of money. Let's not mess it up. Yeah. All right, so over here on the right, I got that one measured too for me. Right, what's this left he's doing? I was so paranoid I, I wasn't doing it right. I don't know. I'm sure you're doing it right. What are you? What? It just like you're worried about it in general, or is there just in general? Sure um. Well, the way that sh uh, Crystal showed me how to draw them in if you're out. Uh -huh. I don't like using the needle, so I still, I use the Q-cap. It's just so much easier yeah? for me. You like the Q-cap better? Yes. It's okay. just so much faster and easier. Yeah. And so the, I was worried about that the first day because it took me for an I felt unnecessarily long to get the medicine uh -huh. it together. Yeah. But now with the Q cap, it's just like boom, boom. Well, there you go. If it, if it works for you, you use it. Most people usually usually say, yeah, it's not that great. Let's not. But hey, if you like it, then do it. Lots of pressure right here. Sorry. One, two, three. So I can definitely see that it looks like four responding on the right side here. So one of them, I'm kind of question mark, are we going to respond or not? So On the right side? On the left side. Oh. On the left side. Yep. And then on the right, I'm, I'm able to measure three. And okay. And on the right, I'm, on the left, excuse me, I'm able to measure four. Okay. So those are the numbers I'm going to go with today. So, on the left, a six millimeter, a nine millimeter, another nine, and another six. And on the right, a four, a three, and an eight. All right, so out of the seven I'm able to measure today, five of them are definitely, hey, we're growing, we're growing. Two of them on the right, we're gonna watch a little closely. Your lining looks beautiful starting to get nice and thick and luscious so I feel like your estrogen today is going to be really good. Alright, so, so I'm done with the appointment. Um, I don't really know how to respond to the footage that you just saw. Uh, I went from having eight follicles on Monday at my baseline appointment 
to seven. So I've lost one of the follicles that she saw. It's not responding. Um, however, five of them are responding very well, she said. Um, let me look down at my phone. I have on the left four out of the five that she saw on the left four of them are responding very well so the left is responding greatly with measurements two of them measuring six millimeters and two are measuring nine the right ovary all three are responding on the right side however two of them are slow responders which is four and three and then I got one good one, which is eight millimeters. So I got five follicles that are responding very well to the medication. She said they are going to be watching the two that um, that are slowly monitoring. So that means that I've got seven follies, which possibly it just means I have seven eggs. And um, five of those seven are responding and maybe mature. And two of them, if they don't pick up speed, they might not be uh, mature. The next step is to wait for the phone call so that they can let me know what my dosage is going to be for tonight. If they're going to amp it up or whatever they're going to do. Um, I go back Monday, possibly Tuesday, but I go back Monday uh, based on what they see in the blood results. She did take my blood blood draw today and she said my lining looked great so she said my estrogen should look great right now she did reassure me that I am doing the medication right because I do have some responding and just because you have follicles there does not necessarily mean that those follicles are going to produce eggs or respond at all so I don't really know how I should feel because I know I only need one egg to achieve a pregnancy but yeah um I'm definitely understanding and seeing why I'm bloated. I literally, you you just heard me tell you the measurements and that's what I got going on in my uterus right now. Yeah. Uh, My uterine is, my uterus is looking good. The uterine lining is looking good. And I did ask her to explain to me the frozen transfer protocol, which once we get through all of this, I'll explain, I'll do a video explaining all that to you as well. But yeah, waiting for the phone call to let me know what the medicine doses is going to be and then move forward. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. It's Sunday. I'm getting up, getting ready to go to church just to get a little worship in real quick. Um, But I didn't get a phone call till late yesterday regarding what they were going to do with my medicine. And right now the protocol is going to be that we're going to keep everything the same. And I do have an appointment tomorrow morning, which is December 28th at 8.30 in the morning. She said for me to bring my Ginner Relics with me, which I was going to bring anyway. And because it's in my travel kit with all my other medications, because the appointment time is at a time that I have to be at the doctor's office. So I'm just going to take my medication while I'm at the doctor's office um, tomorrow. So that's what we're going to do. She said that they didn't want to start the Ganorelix yet as of Saturday because my estrogen was only 145 and they wanted at 300 before they introduced the Ganorelix in. She said to bring it with me on the off chance that they scan me on Monday and they're like, oh, well, we want you to go ahead and go take it now. And they go ahead and do it now. My lining is looking great. Um... I was very upset about the two follicles that were measuring the way they were measuring and I was upset that she didn't see a follicle um, on the the left side that she had previously seen at the baseline but I'm not going to let that worry me I'm just going to be happy with the few follies I got and move forward so yeah I will check back in with you guys with a whole new video tomorrow for tomorrow's appointment which i'll probably upload later this week but this video is ending and i'm going to go ahead and upload, try to get it uploaded later tonight but yeah apparently we're doing good progress it's just not the progress that i was expecting but it's good considering my age um and fertility status with me being over 35 and whatnot so 
thank you for watching this video like and subscribe and um, hit that notification bell and I do know that one day this week hopefully these braces come off I was supposed to go tomorrow but um, the IVF appointment supersedes the braces appointment so I, I was supposed to go to the orthodontist tomorrow at 10 30 and it's not happening so yeah um, hopefully when I call tomorrow morning to reschedule they can get me in either later tomorrow or they can get me in later this week but either way I'm ready for these braces to come off but yeah thanks for watching um, the bloating is real so no one in my church knows that uh, we are trying to get pregnant so I have a poncho on today but this right here this is all belly that's all blow belly and I don't want anyone to be like oh my god Sonia you're pregnant and I'm not so 